hurt you the most this afternoon? Our start. Somehow, some some reason not ready. We weren't ready. I don't understand. You know, I don't understand how that happens. A little little upset with our group that we weren't uh, more more ready um, mentally, physically. You know, you give up 36 points in, in the first quarter. It's like that team is too good, too good to let that happen. You know, we did show some fight with our, our bench. I thought they came in and, and you know gave a glimmer of hope there, but uh, too big of a hole against a against a very talented team. Does it make it all more difficult and frustrating when you know that your team is capable of going on big runs, seeing a deficit grow the way the way it did? Yeah, and just to repeat myself, like, you just you just know that against this team, um, as athletic as they are, as long as they are, as as, as talented as they are, you can uh, you gotta you gotta be ready from the get go. And um, you know, very disappointed in that. Again, they'll take the positive out and. and so, you know, Karras and, and Nick Stauskas and, and that group came and, and you know, uh, you know, gave us gave us a little bit of a shot there, but uh, uh, you know, we were too too deep of a hole. Obviously, they're going back even before this game. Their length and athleticism athleticism has been a problem for you guys for a while. But uh, you judge this as more being about. You guys, than it was them yeah. taking you out of things. Yeah, Brian. Like you know, that we've, you know, we've, uh, uh, you know, get some of the best teams in the league. We've, we've, we've competed and and, and uh, we're ready, uh, but we're on our heels from the start. And if you do that against a, a bigger team, a, a more athletic team, you're just gonna. That's what's gonna happen. You're gonna take thirty six on the chin. So uh, we just weren't ready for the fight, and. Uh, you know, I thought Bledsoe said to Tom. I thought he was he was the difference. He, uh, you know, he was an absolute, uh, uh, you know, ball of fire out there. We couldn't stop him. Uh, obviously, Giannis is going to do what he's going to do. But Bledsoe was really, uh, really set to Tom, set to Tom for them, and, and dominated us. Uh, in Delo's case, I mean, he uh, obviously. Fouled out. Some of those fouls down the stretch, um, while they may have been touch and go, I mean, does he have to just be more cautious when you yeah. when you know you're sitting on four and they're calling yeah. everything? Do you have to be more cautious? Yeah, and I, th I thought uh, I thought Dr. gave us it gave us a good push. Give us we needed him, and and uh, we'll have to look at it. And I'd say Brian overall as a team, we we foul too much. We just we just do. And and uh, um, you know, first quarter I think they had eleven free throws. It's like we got to be more disciplined in with in, in fouling people, and that's being in a you know a lot of that has to do with being in the right position. Um, defensively, we get caught out of position, and bam, we foul. Or an offensive rebound, which is you know that's 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 another reason you foul. Um, so um, just just that was part of the avalanche of the in the in the first quarter was giving them eleven free throws. Those are eleven freebies. Um, you know that. Not good enough for our defense. Um, you guys shot 41% for the game. How much of that was disrupted? How much of your shooting was disrupted by their length and athleticism? Or was it just you guys were taking bad shots? A lot. I thought we were at the rim. I, thought they, I, don't, I don't know how many block shots they had. Um, seemed like they had a lot. Of seven. I guess that's not huge. But um, yeah, they, they, have, they have length at every position. You're at the rim. Um, I thought we got. You know, some decent looks, I'm not saying great looks, but uh, they cause a lot of problems. Um, but against them, you got to make the extra pass, and you got to make the next one. Because uh, just, just one extra pass isn't enough. And, and, and um, you know, again, I think their switching game is probably because we, you know, end of shot clock, we're in end of shot clock situations, and they're guarding you with their length. And, and uh, you know, but uh, I know one thing, we can play a lot better. That, that wasn't, it wasn't good enough tonight, today. You talked about Bledsoe being the tone setter. How about Henson also for the Bucks? I think 1918, um, it, it was a lot of what I want to classify as like third and fourth rebounds, right? It wasn't like he grabbed it right away first, but just kept getting his long arms around it, around stuff. Yeah, and that, listen, I do think that starts with downhill penetration. So they get they get into your defense, teeth your defense, they throw it up, we come over to block it. Now Henson's there to clean, clean it up, and he's. He's really good, opportunity, opportunistic, like finding the right areas when they do drive. 
they are a team you have to keep in front. And if they start getting downhill, it's it's like the floodgates open because it's on the rim now, and, and they're gonna out jump you. Uh, um, Henson Henson was the prime, you know, receiver of those situations, and uh, he played a he played a heck of a game, and you know he did a great job protecting the rim too. Okay, thank you. Thanks everybody.